This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. This is your market update with David White at 2 p.m. Right now, we're basically flat on the S&P cash uh, up a little on the NASDAQ, down a little on the Dow, Russell 2000, up a little bit. Crude up a lot to almost 2.5%. Uh, gold down half a percent. Uh, so far today, as we check in for the volume after one of the biggest days ever, uh, doing about 6.3 billion shares. Uh, we've got uh, a few things going on in the market today. So we'll talk about those first. Uh, we had a little discussion this morning on margin calls. You want to be keeping an eye around 2.30-ish uh, uh, for that. And that is if anybody got real, real, real long and hedge funds are uh, mostly like this, uh, the hedge fund manager will have uh, bad returns uh, and be worried about being fired. So he'll try to make it up on the next trade by going on even higher margin. It's not uncommon to see hedge funds uh, with 25, 30, 35 to 1 uh, margins. So if the market turns against them fairly strongly, uh, they can get wiped out uh, fairly quickly. Now, the broker who handles their trades uh, can handle it basically any way they want. For retail traders uh, and a lot of the hedge funds, that comes at uh, about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, where you have to have uh, money transferred, wire transferred into your broker's account if you've uh, gone on the wrong side of the market. Uh, and then uh, if the market, you know, sometimes they'll let uh, people go or if the market turns against them, they'll try it again at 2.30. So uh, we'll watch uh, in whether or not we get a polar-like plunge. Rail strikes on Friday. Everybody's still worrying about that and uh, talking about mortgages being down a third over the last year. Hang on for my show. Power Trade. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the